Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. These two talented creatives in their own right and dynamic women met at a local book club and what started out as a shared interest in books became the co-written and NAACP wow. Image Award no nominated novel, I'm Not Dying With You Tonight. No, that's <laughs> Geely Siegel and Kimberly Jones, please welcome yeah. them to the circle. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> NAACP award yes. How did you wow. feel when you found out? It's so crazy because our, our good friend Nick Stone, who wrote the amazing book Dear Martin, texted us and was like, congratulations. And we're like, <laughs> for what? <laughs> 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 and it, I mean, it was just like a dream come true. Like I, I went back to my Instagram and I had posted videos in 2018, yeah. 2017, and 2019 saying, I am going to get an NAACP Image wow. Award for yes. literary work yeah. in three years in a row. And then, so to get this, this has been like yeah. a dream Look come at true. God. Wow, the power, yeah. Yeah, the power yeah. of yeah. manifestation. Right. Yes, universe. my goodness. <laughs> so let's talk, talk about how you guys met at a yeah. local book club. You have uh, obviously reading in common, and then you're like, let's do a novel. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Talk about that conversation. I was not I, let, like, let's do a novel. This I one. chased her down. Okay, so, <laughs> so we made that happen. So we met in a book club for adults who like to read young adult novels because they're great and they're dealing with wonderful issues. Mm -hmm. And we went on a writing retreat together and we discovered that despite growing up really differently, we have a lot in common. We're both single moms, both divorced from former athletes. And so we just really connected. And then there was an incident in Baltimore in 2015 where a school bus got trapped behind a police barricade during some civil protests. And you know, art is a portal to enter hard conversations, and I really wanted to write about that. But you can't, as a white person, tell the story of race in America by yourself. That's Thank you. Wrong. Thank you. Yeah. Wrong. Yeah. And I knew Kim, and I was like, ooh, maybe she'd like to write with me. And she was the manager of the Little Shop of Stories in Decatur at the time. And so I went to the store when she's on shift, and I'm a lawyer by trade. And I had all my bullet points, and I'm like, I'm going to get her to write mm. with me. I'm going to argue this case. Yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I got like two bullet points in to my trying to persuade her, and she goes, stop right there and I was like oh no I've offended her she thinks this is terrible and she said um, you had me at let's write together we told that at a college and it was like crickets Chris. and then we realized that movie came out before those kids were born, born right oh. yeah. it's tough out here in these streets yeah. <laughs> these kids don't be knowing nothing. Um, I love that you said um, your creativity, the, our creativity is a portal to talk yeah. about the hard issues. Yeah. I, love I love that you said out. that. Yeah. Um, and speaking of creativity, this title, mm. I am not dying with you tonight. <laughs> now I say that on a lot of other issues. <laughs> I don't think it means what I think. So if you can break down why the decision of this title yeah. and what does it mean? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I grew up in the Wild Hundreds in Chicago. Come on. <laughs> so, Short tone? I'm oh, not down with you tonight is a statement that I use quite often. That's what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> but um, our original title was Mass Disturbance, which is the legal mm. term for a riot. Mm -hmm. And our publisher tested it and was just like, this is not landing right. It doesn't feel right for the vibe of the book. <laughs> so I'm not down with you tonight is a line from the book. So they pulled that line from the book and wow. was like, what do you guys think about this? And we had lived with Mass Disturbance for two years, so we're like, no, it's yeah. called Master right. Service. What are y'all talking about? Yeah. But they, but were, they right. were right. They yeah. were right. They were right because it catches yeah. you like that. Yeah. 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 What is the book about? So the yeah. book is about two girls, one black and one white. It's told in um, alternating voices. So I predominantly wrote Lena, the black girl's voice, and she predominantly wrote Campbell, the white girl's voice. And it's about these two girls who survived the night together, two 17-year-old girls who survived the night together in race riots. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a movie. 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 Put that into the universe. <laughs> into the universe. <laughs> That's Netflix right there. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. So, so what was the most gratifying thing about writing a book, and what was the most challenging? Mm. Uh, I think that two of the most challenging things were we both still hold full-time day jobs and just finding the time to write together. Yeah. We learned that we work best sitting side by side mm -hmm. and working on this. And so carving out the time and saying we're going to prioritize this creative project over something else that we could choose to do was hard. And also it was difficult conversations that yeah. we had to have, really honest and hard conversations. We had a safe word. We had a safe word. So we had a safe word that said, after I say this word, I can ask you whatever it is I need to ask you, and you know that I would never mean to do you any harm. I would never mean to insult you. This is really coming from a place of ignorance, but I need it to ask yeah. to, to move yeah. forward. Yeah. yeah. 
Can, yeah. I, can I ask you a question? What did you all learn from one another, yep. Yep. you know, in, in this process? Mm -hmm. I think we learned more cultures. about each other's yeah. cultures yeah. than yeah. we actually did. Like, people always ask us, what did you learn from the book? I think we learned more from each other. Gili Culture. is Jewish. Like, mm -hmm. my son now wants to be Jewish because we had Shabbat at our house. <laughs> um, and so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, I want to be Jewish. Like, Aunt Gili, I have Shabbat. Too. I'm like, it's not Shabbat every day. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I would do it for him. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. but, okay. Well, you said the book was about a riot. Yeah. Is it from a personal experience? Is it from something real that occurred? So it's based on the Baltimore riots. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even though it's set in Atlanta, mm -hmm. it was the Baltimore riots that influenced us because of an article yes. that Geely saw. Yes. Yeah, so it's. Like I said, it's based on a real incident that occurred when a school bus got trapped behind a police right. barricade. And a lot of times as adults, we really focus on how these events are impacting adults, but the kids are living them too. Yeah. And we really wanted to create a space where kids can grapple with these. Because the news never circle back to that story, right. and we're both moms, and so we were just like, what, what happened, happened to those kids? kids? Yeah. And we yeah. never were able and to, to hear. Day, we don't know. What, even we've yeah. been to Baltimore a few times. We actually, last time we went, they took us to the autopsy room, to Freddie Gray's autopsy room, yeah. which was overwhelming but um yeah we still haven't been able to find out like what happened to those kids that night so right. we thought this was a way to process that right yeah and Gila you spent several years in I Israel did. How, yeah. how did that shape uh, your knowledge of race that's a great question I think it I grew up in a predominantly white area <clears throat> relatively homogeneous and it opened my eyes to the fact that my experience is not everybody's experience and I hope that it made me sort of opened me up and made me empathetic to listening to what it's like to live in somebody else's skin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Work, Gil oh, <laughs> work on Gilly with your, with your partner here. Yeah. Um, what was the biggest misconception that you think that you had of African American mm. people? Oh I think the thing that I learned the most is the daily indignities, the death by a thousand That's cuts, good. the assumptions that people make Make about um, intelligence versus cultural choices in the wow, black wow. community. That's good, that's good. I mean, I owe that all to Kim, right? She taught me to be better about seeing it, and I don't like. I hate the word woke, but wokeness is not a destination, and I think sometimes we use that as like a badge. Oh, I'm, I'm woke. It's right. a journey. It's yes. learning constantly, and mm -hmm. I'm still on it, and I still get things wrong, and I'm grateful that Kim helps me. Yes. You see why I love her so much? She's yes. very lit. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are, oh, well, we, we got to go. We got to go. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay, ladies, we thank you so much for joining us today. Thank, thank you so much yes. for having us. On the NW Lisa ACP Energy Awards. <laughs> My God, today you can get their copy of the book, their best selling book. I am not dying with you tonight. <laughs> Wherever five books are sold, our full circle is up next. Wow. Great. Wow. Thank you so much. Yes. I, I wanted to know, okay, this